Today I am going to make sodium chromate from chromium metal. Chromium is a brittle transition metal that strongly resists oxidation. Its name comes from the Greek chroma meaning color. This is because chromium assumes several very vividly colored oxidation states. It is also commonly used in plating due to its inability to rust. I was not able to find any videos or literature online regarding the synthesis of sodium chromate from elemental chromium, so I developed this process on my own. To start I simply add my chromium metal into 100 milliliters of 10 molar hydrochloric acid to a flask. This will dissolve chromium and produce green chromium trichloride hexahydrate. As always, you should not attempt anything you see on this channel at home particularly this video. All chromium-6 hexavalent compounds are extremely toxic and carcinogenic. This process will also take three parts to finish, but I will combine them and post as a single video on my YouTube. Once all the metal has dissolved, I transfer it to a 1000 milliliter beaker. Before this I prepared a saturated solution of sodium carbonate washing soda. I add this solution to my chromium chloride to neutralize the excess acid and form chromium carbonate. This releases a lot of carbon dioxide bubbles, so it must be done slowly. A close-up view. You can see bits of insoluble chromium carbonate precipitate. Eventually I was left with a grayish-blue chromium carbonate. The next step is to react this with sodium hypochlorite to form sodium chromate. Sodium chromate synthesis part 2. To oxidize my chromium carbonate I made in part 1 of this synthesis, I first added to a 1000 milliliter beaker. To this I simply add 200 milliliters of sodium hypochlorite bleach. Now I just need to give it a stir and wait. The bleach will eventually oxidize the insoluble blue carbonate to soluble yellow chromate. This also releases carbon dioxide gas. The full reaction will take about 30 minutes and requires periodic stirring. As always, do not do this at home. Eventually I am left with a dirty solution of sodium chromate. While yellow in color, this solution is so strong it looks orange. Here you can see the reaction happening up close. outside due to the high toxicity of chromates. Once it has cooked down to about a quarter of its initial volume the heat is cut and allowed to cool. Once it cooled I poured off as much liquid from the crystallized sodium chromate as I could. This left me with some very concentrated solution and a lot of crystal sodium chromate. To isolate the pure crystals I need to clean off this orange solution. To do this I add my product to the Buckner funnel and pull a vacuum for a while. Once it is somewhat dry, 
I wash it a few times with ice cold ethanol. Sodium chromate is virtually insoluble in cold ethanols, so I won't lose product here. As it's cleaned up, the bright yellow color becomes apparent. I ran the vacuum for 20 minutes to dry it as much as possible and was left with a beautifully clean sodium chromate. Nice. This was transferred to a tray for vacuum desiccation, and that's it. However, due to the extreme biological toxicity of chromium-6 I need to take a few disposal steps which I'll show you. To my liquid waste I am going to add a strong reducing agent such as ascorbic acid or sodium hydride. This will break down the toxic chromate to fairly harmless chromium oxide. I'll keep adding until the yellow tint is gone. This same reducing agent must be applied to all spots, glass, and equipment that came in contact with the chromate. When this is complete the waste is now safe to dispose. Follow for more.